Hey guys, it's Nick. Uh, this is a video response to Nurse Nicole's uh, video on passing anatomy and physiology. And Nicole, I think you explained uh, both anatomy and physiology perfectly. Uh, I feel like I had the same feelings and expectations of uh, both courses, um, but I also noticed that it seems like my school's program was rather different from yours, so I thought I would uh, make a video to explain my experience and my thoughts as well. So um, let's see, in my school there are several different anatomy and physiology uh, courses you can take based on what you're studying, I guess. So if you are studying the RN program, we or they, the school, splits anatomy and physiology into two separate courses. So you have to take one semester of anatomy, and in fact you have to take that before you take any of the other nursing prerequisite courses. And it's pretty much exclusively focused on anatomy. Once you pass that, you can take another semester of physiology, and that's how they do it. We also at my school have AMP courses that are combined. Um, you can take AMP 1 and AMP 2. And I'm not sure what type of courses require both AMP 1 and AMP 2. I know if you're studying to become an LPN, LVN, um, at my school you just have to take AMP 1, you don't have to take 2. But as I said, I don't know who, what kind of courses require that second portion. Anyway, for me, I took anatomy first. Uh, I took it last summer. Um, and I took it in a very short course. I took it during the summer, and I split this short summer semester into two separate five and a half week uh, classes. So I took what is normally a 16 week anatomy class in just five weeks, five and a half weeks. So it was insanely intense. It was very tough. Um, I did well, I managed to get an A. Um, and I agree with what you said, Nicole, about anatomy being about memorization. We worked systematically, so we focused on one body system at a time, and most of it was just memorization. We, would, uh, we were in class Monday through Friday for several hours because it was a short course, um, and we would be, spend time uh, in lecture learning about each body system and some of the basic physiology, and then we would move to the lab and basically there we would look at all of the different parts of whatever body system we were studying, take all the bones and put them on the lab table and just memorize all the bones and the parts of the bones and everything like that, whatever we needed to do. So it was, it was tough but it was pretty structured in that you knew what you had to memorize and it was just a matter of figuring out how to memorize those things. My school offers what they call open labs on the weekends, <clears throat> so you can go in Saturday and Sunday and also one or two days during the week, go into those labs and look at whatever you want. So for me, going to the open labs was the way that I passed the course. Um, every day, I mean every Saturday and every Sunday, the entire summer, I was in the labs as long as I needed to be going through all of these things. We had a list of what we needed to memorize and it was just repetition and going through and memorizing. Um, you can also buy flashcards, you can buy these anatomy coloring books. I bought both of those things, but what I found to be most effective for myself was going into the labs, holding this bone or muscle in my hand or whatever, and then you know absorbing it into my brain. So uh, that's what worked for me. And it was tough in that it was so intense, such a short course and just a ton of memorization very quickly. Um, I, because I got an A in anatomy, uh, I decided to take the same professor for physiology. I, feel, I felt like I knew her method and so I thought, okay, I'll take her as well for the same for physiology. <sighs> that was a tough class. I should start, I suppose, by saying I grew to hate physiology. I was simultaneously taking microbiology pharmacology, and then a human growth and development class, so I had a lot on my plate. But I kind of have discovered I'm a very visual learner, I need to be able to see things. Um, that helped me in anatomy, it helped in microbiology, it does not help at all in physiology. So much of physiology is 
concepts and um, textbooks explaining how things work, but you can't see them. Uh, so that was difficult for me. I didn't take it in a short class, I took it in a regular semester class, but it was a tough class and what you said about it being a weeding out course, that's definitely true. Um, I think we had 36 students in my class at the beginning. I think there were 12 of us who got to the end of the course and from what I know only three of us got an A. I was one of them again, uh, which I'm so happy about. I was not going to take physiology again in order to improve my grade. Um, it was very, very difficult uh, in that you have to really understand how things are working. You're no longer just picking up bones and memorizing the name of them. You have to understand how things work. And that was difficult for me because you can't see them, like I said, so much of it. I remember studying physiology and saying two things. First of all, I said over and over, usually when I was frustrated and exhausted after you know hours of studying every day, I would say, I think this is all just a myth. I think this is all something that people have made up and they're just telling us because there's no, I mean, there probably is proof, but I didn't see any proof. I had to read in a textbook about these complicated concepts that nobody has seen, filmed, taken a picture of, you know, on an atomic level, you can't see these things. So I was always asking myself, how do they know that this is how it works? It might not. And a lot of times that's the case too. It's a theory. Um, the other uh, thing that I decided about physiology is that if physiology had a subtitle, it would be sodium goes into the cell and shit happens. I said that all the time to my uh, lab partner because you're studying all of these systems and these organs and tissues and then suddenly you're looking at a cellular level and what happened over and over week after week was sodium enters the cell, the cell changes in some way and something happens. That was the basis of every single thing in the physiology course, I felt like. Once you get down to it, it's about sodium going in and something happening, happening as a result. So it was tough. It was really, really tough. Um, I, that's the least favorite class I've ever taken in my life, but I also think I learned more from that class than any other class. Um, and I definitely think it's the most important and useful course as you go into a nursing program and like you've said, probably after you graduate as well. Really understanding how the body works is so important when you're studying uh, how to get people well. When you're studying pharmacology classes and learning about drugs, you have to know what's happening in the body and what those drugs are doing to the body. and just all of it. It's such an important course. It's hard. So I think all of, if anyone has had an easy time in physiology, please tell me how you did it. But anyone preparing to take it, you have to study a lot. It's tough. But I think like Nicole said as well, you're going to need it so much and you're going to really appreciate the effort you put into passing that class when it comes down to it. At least I hope so. So that's my contribution. I hope uh, somebody learned something from it. And um, please make some comments below and let me know how your physiology experience went. Take care, guys.